Hello and welcome to the 21st installment of Aaron Walker Art Talk. I am Aaron Walker and I am joined today by Nate Baker. Nate, how are you? Doing well. Awesome. And today we are covering War Nuns, which is my illustration. Nate, why did you pick it? Uh, I think it's uh, an interesting kind of contrast between the peace and war, right? Nuns are peaceful uh, and, you know, war is the opposite of peace. Um, I also like this almost Darth Vader-esque aesthetic going on with the gas masks and the, and the uh, uh, I forget what it's called, the head, uh, headwear. So uh, very interesting. And it, it, the, uh, the, it almost looks like a ha full hazmat suit that they have on. So like full wartime thing, but it it's definitely has that aesthetic. So I thought it was interesting. Um, it made me wonder if this, uh, if, you, if, you, if you drew this just straight scratch from an idea you had in your head or if you were um, having, you saw something like a picture from World War One or something and you said, oh, that kind of looks like a nun. And then you just accentuated those details and made it look like a nun. So that was kind of interesting. Um, and I like the contrast. I, like, I think that's why a lot of people like this, um, this type of art because it's, again, it's kind of like the, the, the last painting where you really, uh, there's that contrast really makes you think about it, makes you look at it. Um, it's just kind of interesting, and I think uh, people enjoy that. I don't know what the word for that is in in the art world. I'm sure there's a bunch of them, but the world for what exactly? Also, number one, thank you, Nate. You're very kind. But two, what was the uh, what's the word exactly? Were you trying to a, a word where it's like the that clash between the uh... juxtaposition? It's yes, yeah, juxtaposition. But I don't know if there's a, a particular type of I don't know. It's I don't know. Yes, yeah, so the juxtaposition, the, the, the clash of the two, these two ideas. I also like the fact that unlike some of your other works, you accented it with that simple pink background that fades off. I yeah, like yeah. that instead of it just being grayscale for some reason that just kind of adds. And I, I think that might also be, you know, why it's a, uh, it, it, it pops a little bit more and people may, may like that. Uh, right. I don't know. I really enjoy this one. I think uh, of the ones we reviewed, it, it might be my favorite just because I can see people applying this and interesting. I can see this in a coffee shop for some right. reason. You know what I mean? I don't know why. I just, I'm sure it's been in a coffee shop at some point, like in my career. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But uh, it's actually what it's portraying is uh, soldiers in Kuwait during the Gulf War who are in hazmat suits. So you're correct on those fronts, right? Uh, yeah. And it, I didn't actually name it War Nuns. That was like post hoc, like my friend looked at it and she's like, war nuns. And I was like, perfect. See, that's great. That's and great. I, I like the idea, like not only because it's like war nuns, okay, fine. Like war right. nuns, but also that more specifically with hazmat suits, right? Because like, what is, why would you become a nun? It's to protect yourself from evil. It's mm -hmm. like literally cause the separation from you and evil so that you're not tainted, right? Right, it is a line of defense in a way. You are fighting, you're resisting to live the better life. And yeah, well, that's why it's, it, it provides a lot of, and I can see, I can tell because of the detail that this was probably a, like that, that re, uh, a re-representation of something you saw there. So it was definitely very detailed. But mm -hmm. when you look at the title without having that background, at first you're like picture of nuns, gas mask. Then you realize, oh, these are just like full hazmat suits. I bet you this is like what that is. But it's interesting because it, any piece that makes you kind of go down a trail of thought um, from any, any, anywhere you start, you start thinking, you start reevaluating, looking at it, I think is kind of what I look for. Coming from someone who's not, you know, academically uh, well-rounded on everything, that's just what I look for from the layman's thing. And, and I think it's also interesting, you know, and, and I want to, I don't know if you discuss this in other episodes, but the, the contrast between what you would think, a what you see selling in the marketplace, what you see your most popular pieces, your most well-reviewed pieces are, versus how they would fare in the critique's eye, like the critic's eye. And if there's a, if there's a, a contrast there, what would, you know, people love this kind of art that you produce, but it might lack in some official formal sense to someone who's not well-versed in the particular particulars of the the art. You know, I've never, I don't really meet a lot of critics. <laughs> like I'm, I've hung out in a lot of art scenes like um, I've basically helped build like an art collective and a talent agency from the ground up before. And like critics don't really play a part in that as far as I understand it. Like mm -hmm. I've never had someone like write an article that was made to, um, I suppose to truly critique. Like it's always mm -hmm. just talking about art. Like that's what I see mostly. Right. Um, well, I just wonder. Well, not, they're not even in my world. <laughs> right, but, but someone who's like from the art world that is a little more educated on different stylistic elements and things like that. Do you see a contrast between people with that background and people who don't have that bracket background? Like someone like myself, who is the casual observer who appreciates different things. Uh, well, I think that typically 
it really only from what I've experienced is that I've known, like I've read art criticism before, um, and I've read critiques of postmodern works that were just like lionizing very deconstructed, let's say, mm-hmm. pieces of art um they didn't have any form or function or anything else like this is a canvas and i threw like didn't even throw a paint on jackson pollock style but just like this is supposed to be like my feces on a canvas like like that kind of crazy like just a glowing review of this and it's like no one who isn't involved in your circle is going to enjoy that right so you kind of let the market something that austin talked about as well that he will he'll encounter artists and he's like so did you want it to look like trash? And they're like, yes, I did. That's actually what I was looking for. <laughs> it's like, well, then I don't understand what we're doing here. I <laughs> uh, no, but I, I like this painting a lot. I, I like the, the everything about it. I like the, the, the paint background, the detail. I like it a lot. Well, thank you very much. Uh, do you have any other questions on this particular piece? No. Well, all right. Uh, thank you, Nate, for coming on. I appreciate your time and everything that you've said. And I'll see you later. All right.